So let's recap on that very quickly, just to show you again. This whole process of obviously taking me a couple of minutes to describe how it works, but it all happens in a split second. The rotor acts on the exciter coil constantly as it's as the engine is turning really quickly. It acts on the exciter coil and induces a current which flows up through the into the wiring loom, which then the current flows up into the CDI box and a charge builds up in the capacitor in the CDI box. And that charge just keeps building up. And as the rotor keeps rotating, I'll just take the head off this engine so you can see the piston a little bit easier. Okay. So the spark plug is sitting up here. The piston, which you can see in the cylinder of the engine, now that I've taken the head off, it pulls in air and fuel on the downward motion. So it's gone downwards. I'll just show you, I'll get my finger here. So now it comes back up and it compresses that air and fuel mixture. So at this point here, a pulse is generated as this protrusion on the rotor passes by the magnet on the pickup coil and it sends a pulse down the wire out from the, out, the wire coming out through the starter cover and it sends a pulse which triggers the CDI box to discharge the built up current. So at this point the built up current is discharged through the wiring loom and into the primary windings or the primary circuit of the ignition coil. And the ignition coil amplifies the voltage by about 200 times so that we end up with a voltage in the secondary windings of the ignition coil in excess of 12,000 volts. So a really high voltage. It can be up to somewhere up to 45,000 volts in some ignition coils. So that induces a current that flows through the HT lead and builds up a current or it builds up a voltage across the electrodes of the spark plug which is connected into the cap and is sitting in the cylinder head. So while this is going on, so while this is occurring, the cylinder is, the sorry, the piston is still traveling upwards, still compressing the air and fuel mixture. And there is an F mark on the rotor and the F indicates the point at which the spark plug fires. So the air and fuel mixture is compressed in the cylinder of the engine. The voltage across the electrodes in the spark plug causes a spark and that ignites the compressed air and fuel mixture. And that ignited air and fuel mixture expands very rapidly again all in a split second and it causes the piston to it just pushes the piston down and drives our piston down and drives our motorcycle so that's how the ignition system works again it's all happening in a split second now i've talked about a very basic ignition system here but it's not the only ignition system it's not the only CDI based ignition system. So in this particular engine, the power for the spark plug is coming from the exciter coil. But that's not always the case. In some motorcycles, the power to feed into the CDI box comes from the battery. They will probably have a pickup coil 
are a pulse generator. Most motorcycles, even if they have a battery, they will probably still use uh, the pulse generator to generate that trigger to discharge the current. If they use the battery, then they're not going to have an exciter coil. They will probably still have a stator, and the role of the stator will be to charge the battery. So the stator, so as the battery is, as power is being drained from the battery to power the ignition system, the voltage, the charge in the battery is being drained all the time. So to keep that charge topped up, the, bat the motorcycle will have a stator, which is used to power the battery and in that way the stator is in a roundabout way part of the charging or the um, well in this case it's part of the charging system but it's also a key element in keeping the ignition system going so that's just the the one of the differences that you might see in your own motorcycle the other difference you might see is that instead of a CDI box, the CDI box might be, it might still have a little CDI box, but it might be called something else. So it might be called, in more modern motorcycles, the CDI box is has been replaced with the engine control module. So the engine control module is essentially, it's very, it works in a very similar fashion to the CDI box except that it will have a little microcomputer in it. It will just result in a more advanced ignition system. So I won't go into the specifics of how the ECM unit works, but just so you know, you're going to probably see that on the more modern motorcycles, they're going to be more computerized. Um, and you're not going to see the term CDI, you're going to see ECM. So that's just a brief overview of that. And that essentially is it. Again, if in your own motorcycle, if you have more cylinders, if you have more spark plugs, you have more ignition coils, you might have more CDI boxes. But the, in, the theory is going to be very similar. You're going to be able to use these basic ideas to explain the ignition system in your own motorcycle. So I hope you all found this uh, video useful and instructive. Hopefully I've explained everything fairly well. If I have, then give me a like and subscribe to my channel, guys. 